My name is Mike Townsend, and I'm an application specialist with Forceflow. Today I'd like to take just a couple minutes to tell you about a new product of ours, the HypoTrack, which is used for monitoring sodium hypochlorite as you feed it for disinfection at your water plant. Let's take just a minute to look at a few of the features that make the HypoTrack unique for this application. For those of you familiar with some of our other products, you will notice that the HypoTrack is built on the same hardware platform as the Solo G2 level and weight indicator. The difference with the HypoTrack is that it has a custom software program that allows you to get specific information, alarms, and controls specific to your sodium hypochlorite inventory. It is used in conjunction with any one of our weighing scales or ultrasonic level sensors and cost-wise is comparable to the Solo G2. As many of you are aware, Hypo is very unstable and continually degrades over time. Therefore, the first unique benefit that I would like to talk about is the HypoTrack's ability to estimate the strength of your Hypo at any point in time. This is accomplished by simply entering a beginning strength and building a customer-specific degradation curve that you store in the HypoTrack memory. You have the ability to store up to three different degradation curves depending on your seasonal temperature conditions. Degradation curves can have up to 10 points over an unlimited time period and are derived by using a titration kit to analyze your hypo strength as it ages. Titrating a hypo sample usually takes 5 to 10 minutes per test and kits are available for around $100 from a number of suppliers. Please note that titration is only necessary to establish your initial degradation curves, which can then be used over and over for similar temperatures and conditions. Next, I would like to discuss the various types of information that you can retrieve from the HypoTracks display. At all times, the top line receives a signal from the scale or ultrasonic level sensor to display in pounds or gallons how much hypo is remaining. In addition, with your degradation curve selected and a beginning strength entered, the following information is available. A bar graph that gives an indication of how full your tank is, your hypo expressed as 100% pure chlorine gas, how old your hypo is in number of days, the current strength of your hypo, and the current hypo feed rate. The 100% pure function is handy for those who want to track their hypo usage in terms of total oxidant fed. Lastly, I would like to discuss the type of alarms and output signals that are available to communicate with SCADA systems or metering pumps for automatic control. The HypoTrack has two 4 to 20 milliamp outputs available. One that outputs the net weight or gallons remaining in your tank, and a second that has the option of sending pounds of 100% pure chlorine remaining, current hypo feed rate, or current hypo strength. In addition, the second 4 to 20 output can be connected directly to your metering pump to automatically speed up your pump as your hypo gets weaker over time. This feature is ideal for systems that don't integrate residual analyzers or compound loop controls. The HypoTrack also has four alarm contacts that will warn operators of the following conditions. Low tank level, high tank level, pump vapor lock, and high chlorate warning. The pump vapor lock alarm detects a low feed rate condition via loss in weight and therefore can be used to warn of a possible vapor locked metering pump. The chlorate warning alarm is simply a timer that is initiated when new hypo is loaded and keeps track of how many days your hypo has been on site. Chlorates are a byproduct of the hypo degradation process and are beginning to be regulated because they are known to impair thyroid function. I hope this has helped you see a little bit about how the HypoTrack can help you more efficiently and effectively feed sodium hypochlorite at your plant. For more information, visit forceflow.com or give us a call anytime to discuss an application. I'm Mike Townsend for Forceflow TV. Thank you and we'll see you next time.